Have you ever wanted to have a powerful, realistic combat flight simulator on your Raspberry Pi? Well, Linux Air Combat runs splendidly on the Raspberry Pi 4B. This is the 8GB model. I just purchased it in July of 2020 and was amazed to find that Linux Air Combat runs so nicely on it. Of course, the Raspberry Pi is not as powerful as a modern gaming machine, so I did have to diminish some of the features. But I got great performance, as you'll see in a moment. I diminished the video quality down to 2 out of 5. I diminished the view distance to 110 out of 200. And I ran it in um, 720p resolution. I actually found better resolution than that. It gave better performance, but I couldn't make the video recording at those uh, lower resolutions. So I raised the resolution up to 720p for this video, and yet you'll see that the frame rate is still nice and smooth. All of the remaining special effects were disabled. For this exercise, I skipped the simple tutorial missions and decided to go right online in Network Battle Zero 02, which is one of the more graphically taxing the online missions. I was the only one playing, so the server uh, gave me some replay mission activity, which was quite uh, intense at times. First, I had to land my aircraft on a nearby runway to receive fuel, ordnance, etc. While sitting on the runway, taking on fuel and ordnance, watching my fuel level gradually increase up to 100%, I was paying a lot of attention to the frame rate. I've been flying and writing personal computer oriented flight simulators for almost 40 years. Back in the olden days on those 8 bit 8080 computers, the gold standard was to try to get 10 frames per second with their wireframe graphics. Later on, as we advanced to more powerful 486 uh, computers and 16 bit computers, the gold standard was to try to get 24 frames per second, so it would be as smooth as a Hollywood movie. Um, nowadays on Linux machines, I have pretty much come to expect and insist upon uh, 60 frames per second for glassy, silky, smooth performance and in a high-speed, uh, dynamic situation like a flight simulator with airplanes passing each other at hundreds of miles per hour and bullets flying, you really need that high frame rate. Um, flight simulators, and especially combat flight simulators, the most important and telling thing is that frame rate. So as I, I sat here on the runway, I was looking around in all directions and I was delighted and astonished to see that it was holding 59 or 60 frames per second about 99% of the time. Okay, you'll watch me throughout the remainder of this little uh, clip, it's only five minutes or so. As I take off, uh, climb to altitude, I actually shoot down an enemy bomber and then uh, decide it's best to retire from the battle. I had a little damage. On my way home, I ran into some allies and I flew with them for a moment and then at the end of the clip, I come to a safe landing. I hope you enjoy this. I have to tell you, I'm extremely impressed that a computer as inexpensive and as compact as this little Raspberry uh, Raspberry Pi can handle a flight simulator like this. Now, I'm using the the very the most powerful version they make, the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4B. I suspect this would work in a four gigabyte machine and maybe even on a two gigabyte one because uh, Linux Air Combat just doesn't demand a lot of a lot of memory. But there it is, Linux Air Combat. Uh, if you're interested in this, a, a Google search for Linux Air Combat will lead you to the websites and uh, downloading the standard published um, current distribution archive worked for me. I didn't have to change any source code or anything and it compiled easily in about you know three minutes, two or three minutes. So there you go, Linux Air Combat on a Raspberry Pi. Seven. Red. Red. 
target Red. is Ten. Apple Clock Angels. Two. Target Red. is Twelve Clock Angels. Two. Target red is two. Apple Clock Angels. Two. Target red is Eleven. Apple Clock Angels. Two. Target red is Apple Clock Angels. Two. 